Ghetto. What's up guys, it's Joel and welcome back to another episode of Hit or Miss. On today's schedule, we are going to a restaurant chain called Ed's Diner. For those of you that don't know what Ed's Diner is, it'd be a good thing if I knew what it was as well. Ed's is a restaurant chain that does casual dining, shakes, breakfast, lunch and desserts. They first opened up in 1987 in their flagship site in Soho, central London. And by September 2016, they had expanded into 59 different locations. But the issue with expanding so quickly in such a short amount of time is usually they run out of money. And secondly, they're not able to deal with the capacity. Unfortunately for Ed's, because of that, they went into administration in just the second half of 2017. But actually bought out by the same company that owned the Giraffe brand restaurants. Unfortunately, during that merger, they lost 26 restaurants and hundreds of jobs. And unfortunately, it saw their flagship site in London in Soho close. But in saying that, I'm still on my mission to find London's best burger restaurant. And it wouldn't be fair if I didn't go to a chain restaurant like Ed's Dino. Without further ado, wait, you like that pun? Let's head over to Ed's now. <laughs> have here is it can I get the uh, the big Ed let's get the, the double and uh, can I get the mud pie as well please a double big Ed and we also got the mud pie shake and they're renowned for their shakes here, so I'm looking forward to that really nice vibe in here it's very quiet at the moment because it's like just before lunchtime try to get in here early cool neon lighting you've got the kitchen in the background it's got this like really authentic feel to it I feel like I'm in America a little bit I, I don't know if that's the vibe that they're trying to go for but I feel like I'm in an American diner right now Cheers. Sort of like an upbeat, not an upbeat calf, because it's got it's it's an American vibe in here, 100%. Got like these these red cushion sofas. You got like the big sugars here. So if you sign up to Ed's like a marketing preferences, they usually send you offers, and for the whole of January, they've got 50% off any mains that you pick. So the, my meal that should have been 15 pounds is now half price, and who doesn't love a discount? I'm starving, mate. Absolutely fucking starving. I can see the milkshake from over there coming my food. That is ridiculous. Biggest milkshake I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Got two beef patties, smoked bacon, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, gherkin, and Ed's burger sauce. Nutella shake topped with Oreo cookie, chocolate brownie, Oreo crumb, chocolate sauce, and squirted. Oh my god. Squirted cream. Dig into the burger. Remember to tip the burger. Always flip it the other way around. Keeps the burger intact. That is ridiculous. I don't even know how you're supposed to eat this in one go. There is a lot going on in this burger. That's, it's very difficult to eat in one mouthful. I can definitely taste everything. The cheese, smoked bacon, the gherkin. You know, there's just like too much stuff in one burger. Even though there's like juices coming from the burger, the meat I feel is like a bit too overcooked, it's like quite dry. I'm gonna have to go with it with a knife and fork, right at the tops, just like come apart. The meat, if I'm honest, is very, very chewy. Even though there's like juices coming out of the burger, there's like no actual moisture in the um, moist. So it just, it tastes like a very dry burger. I've never eaten a burger with a knife and fork before. It's our first for me. Let's move on to the milkshake before it goes everywhere. Oh, we're about to lose an Oreo. Humongous. Oh, that brownie is proper tasty. Milkshake's banging. And it's huge. Definitely a two person type of milkshake, not one. Right, there's a lot going on in that milkshake. Very tasty, very milky, very chocolatey. Like rich chocolate flavour. Oreo, brownie, Nutella. Milkshake's bang bang. So the question is, would I hook this place up again or would I miss it? I think based on the burger, I'd unfortunately have to miss this place out as a burger restaurant. But that milkshake is ridiculous. So I think I would definitely come and hit this place up again if I was coming to get a milkshake. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
make sure you like for the YouTube algorithm. You also subscribe and like and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay updated with all of the food reviews. This is just another step in my burger journey. On the next one.